Welcome back to Envision. I'm Deanne Conrad, Community Relations Supervisor with Dr. Brian Maher, our superintendent. And something, one measure that we always look at every year is how our students perform on the advanced placement tests. And those are uh, tests that are given across the nation, college level courses um, that are available to our high school students where they can earn both high school and college credit at the same time. And, um, we really have had great success with those classes and, and really have some good numbers to show for it this year as well. Deanne, I remember when I was looking at whether or not to apply for this job and you're looking at the things that were just exemplary mm -hmm. in Sioux Falls and some other things where maybe you thought you, you might need to have an impact. And the advanced placement participation from the school district and the, the number of students who passed the advanced placement exams was in the exemplary category. So my goal was just to not mess it up. <laughs> and I would tell you now, entering my fourth year, I'm, I'm equally as impressed with what we're, what we're doing. Um, this held a prominent place in our strategic plan and mm -hmm. the student outcomes portion of our strategic plan, where we wanted to increase the number of students um, taking AP exams. We've done that and we want the advanced placement exams, we've done that. We also wanted to increase the number of uh, students of color mm -hmm. taking and passing the AP exam. And I'm very pleased to say that we're doing that in a big way as well. So awesome. from, an, from an advanced placement perspective, I think we're killing it. Right, good. Well, that's all great information. What, what is it about advanced placement that really sets the tone, the rigor for um, excellence in, in the school curriculum. I know we've been very focused on that um, and have had great success and really I think it serves our, well, our students well to have had experiences like that before they leave us. Without a doubt. You know I think that here, here's the biggest thing. Our kids go a variety of places once they leave high school. They're not, they're not all going to one particular mm -hmm. place. But if you're going to go to a college or university and you want to have some idea of what the rigor and what the challenge is of a college course. Um, you might wonder about this course or that course, but when you're taking an AP course, you don't have to wonder. It's a college level course. You'll know what you have to put into it. You'll know what you get out of it because mm -hmm. you're, you're scored on it. And, uh, and our teachers who teach the AP courses are also very, uh, very in tune with providing the rigor so that you get a real good understanding of, of preparation for college. So having said all that, if you're a college or university bound student, taking one or more AP courses really serves you well. I don't care what score you get on the test. Mm -hmm. Just preparing yourself for the rigor of what that college uh, course will be like is, is well worth your time. Right, and, and there's such a variety of AP courses available too um, where students can challenge themselves. And I know we've put some emphasis, as you said, one of our, our areas of emphasis was um, encouraging our, our non-white students to take this test or to enroll in an AP course and that type of thing really does stretch the mind and, and sometimes you know kids think oh this is high school I'm just gonna play it safe so to speak but um, it, it's been great to, to see that kids um, are willing to um, take that encouragement and and run with it. Might be a student who's thinking I don't know if college is for me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could handle that. Here's a, I don't know if it's a surefire way, but here's a, here's a pretty good method for trying to determine whether or not you could. And I think what, what we're seeing is a number of our kids are saying, you know what, with the appropriate um, self-discipline, mm -hmm. I can I can make that college course work. And, right. and we're seeing that um, across categories, across socioeconomic lines, and I'm really pleased with uh, what's happening in our in all of our schools, but in this instance, particularly in our AP program. Wonderful. Well, our teachers also have to have some additional training. Um, they have to have the same rigor as well, so they receive additional training and, and often spend their summers um, getting up to speed on, on those advanced courses. Right, and we're doing so well in the AP world that they're held to an accountability from their peers mm -hmm. on whose, whose kids are passing the AP courses and whose kids aren't passing the mm -hmm. AP courses. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, uh, stress, self-induced stress <laughs> that teachers put on themselves. And, mm -hmm. and as long as that self-induced stress isn't, isn't unmanageable, 
it's probably a good thing. Right. And, and the beneficiary from that are our students. Students, absolutely. Well, if you have a high school age student who's wondering about AP courses, um, do discuss with the counselor, the principal at the school to really find out what, um, how that might benefit your student and, and uh, stretch their minds for the future. Thanks for joining us today on Envision.